Hello all you shining stars and welcome to my channel Shining Star Soup. It's a What's the Soup Saturday and in today's What's the Soup Saturday I'm unboxing a Sephora, I guess I'm begging at this point, Sephora and I also got another thing from Sephora and a little top box sample. I don't know what these two things are but I do know what this thing is. Uh, so Sephora, uh, I don't know when you're seeing this video, but um, the beginning of July they had a really good sale where a lot of things went on sale. It was like a grand sale and um, I, I'm sure they, they sold a lot of products. Uh, there were a couple things I wanted, some were sold out, uh, but I decided because my husband has me on a limited budget, um, I wouldn't exactly call it limited but it's limited and uh, I wanted to get things that I need rather than something I just wanted just because it was on sale uh, like I know I have an abundance of eyeshadow palettes so I steered away from that I still have foundation I still have mascara I still have and I just got um, a fragrance kit so even though the sale was really good I had to control myself when it came to getting things that I I'd actually need and one of the things that I wanted and needed and I definitely wanted to try was what's in this box or in this bag I hate these bags I absolutely hate them they're recyclable and the only thing is they just they seem to get so messy I just don't like them all right so I got a nice little thing going on here. A nice little invoice, which I guess is, is a good thing. I just wanted to uh, take a moment. I should have prepared beforehand, but I was silly and I did not. Talk a little bit about what I decided to get and why I decided to get it. Uh, let's just pop on over to the Sephora website. I think it was like mm, like 50 bucks was what I ended up uh, paying for what I ended up getting here. I'll uh, just switch on to view details. All right, perfect. Okay, so the first thing I'm pulling out was one of the samples I decided. I, I like the smell of the Boom Boom Cream, the Boom Boom Cream, the Boom Boom Cream. Uh, and this one, this perfume is supposed to smell like it, but I didn't want to invest in the actual perfume because the reviews are a bit mixed on it. So I decided to get this one for one of the, uh, the samples. I do like that Sephora offers the kind of thing, those kind of thing. I did get um, Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme Plus Night. Uh, this was in the offer section. You spent over $45. You could get um, either the day cream or the night cream. And I already got the day cream before and I want to get the night cream. And this size, even though it looks small, uh, the moisturizer lasted me a good week. So yeah I'm not sad about that it's a nice size the bottle's really cute and it was no additional charge so I did get that one as one of the beauty offers uh, I have been saving up my points right and um, I rarely now because I know better I rarely get to the hundred point tier I'd rather save up my points and for like at least 750 points because with the 750 points tier you can actually get um, it for free where it's shipped for free and usually it's a little bit better than the 100 point tier. But I really wanted to try and I didn't want to invest in a, a normal size just because I don't know if I'm going to like it and I had just bought the Tatcha. But I want to try the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enrich Face Base All-in-One Primer and Moisturizer. So they have two kinds. They have one that's just a moisturizer and then they have one that's a primer moisturizer. And I want to try the primer moisturizer. So this, 
this size is what the 100 point tier will get you. Just a little guy, but this to me kind of looks like the size that you pay $25 for uh, when it comes to Tatcha. This is just a 7 mil. The mini size, I believe, is just a 10 mil when it comes to uh, Bobby Brown. This costs 100 points. Um, I think it's 25 mil. So, I mean, you get the 7 mil for free. You don't have to pay any extra for it. I've rarely seen uh, this priming moisturizer, and it's full. It looks full, so I decided before I try out and by just blind purchasing the Bobbi Brown, you can't always go by Sephora's ratings. And the reason why is a lot of Sephora's ratings are people that got the product for free, free for review right so you can't really 100 percent trust that and i got floral street i just picked this one because i didn't want to pick anything else to be honest with you all right now this product is what is the main purchase that i got this one is the shoe um the art for hair now I do have two of these, one I bought from Poshmark, and this one I got on sale, but on the sale it was only $62, uh, whereas like it was $64. I really like this, the Nourishing Taming Overnight Serum. Um, depending on when this video will film, or rather depending on when you are watching this video, I did a review on um, this overnight serum. I really enjoy it. It's definitely, that one right there, it's definitely improved my, my hair condition. And uh, you need very little amount. I'm not even f through my first bottle yet. I just don't, I don't remember when I actually ordered this one. Now that I'm kind of curious. Uh, when I actually, how long, I expected the bottle probably to last me a lot more than it did. Um, it had to have been like back in February or something when I got this. Alright, well, anyway, it's lasted me a good few months and I already got another, another bottle. So I'm really impressed with their hair care. And I'm not going to try to butcher this again. Because apparently I love to butcher things when I talk. This hair oil is regularly $70. Um, I did go for the full size. They do have a mini size, a 30 mil available for $27. Uh, but this one... Because I enjoyed the overnight serum... And I was looking for something uh, kind of on top of that. Uh, this product right here. Uh, so this one is increases shine, good for dryness, good for frizz. Um, it's supposed to have a woody and earthly scent. So was this stuff. I didn't really smell it that much. But this stuff is also supposed to provide heat protection. It's good for all hair types. And the reviews are really good. 91% recommended, 4.7 um, stars out of 250 reviews. So it seemed pretty good. It seemed with the shot I needed some uh, hair products. But the reason why I wanted to get this as well is because there are three ways to use this. The first one is a styling aid. So you apply one, one pump and work through your hair. Um, so, you know, to kind of tone down the frizz, I imagine. You can also use it for a pre-shampoo treatment. You just comb three to four pumps into dry hair before shampooing. And you can use it as a conditioning treatment um, overnight. So you leave on overnight. So three uses, um, hair oil, hopefully it helps with the frizz. And that was uh, my little mini Sephora haul. I'm very happy. I love when Sephora has sales. All right, so we got two more things. These are going to be really quick. The uh, And I will do a follow-up review, a follow-up uh, What's a Soup Saturday, just like I did with this one. 
which you probably, hopefully you get a chance to see that video. Because I do like, I do like doing reviews and I like watching other people's reviews. Alright, so this is, what is this? Oh, save five dollars on Geese Guy. I must have signed up for this. Oh, no. These are the cold infusions by Tetley. Raspberry, cranberry, and strawberry watermelon. And a five dollar coupon for so that was that was Top Box's special gift. Special surprise. Yeah, it's free. Not gonna complain. Get some iced tea to try. And I, I have no idea what this one is though. It's very light. Yeah. This would be oh, okay, so I did attend the um the Innisfree. We have hydrating serum, a little packet, and a poor clearing clay mask. Alright, so that's going to wrap up my What's a Soup Saturday. Thanks for watching my little mini Sephora haul. And I hope you have a shining star day and keeping shining stars, even if I'm only here every Saturday to remind you. Bye, guys.